I am Dylan Robinson and I am left back for Bally G. Dylan, it is a real pleasure uh, to be here on behalf of Sky All Sports. So we have a couple of guys in the audience who just uh, would love to contribute with some questions. Yes, you. Who's your greatest inspiration? Uh, I have to say, like, my granda. He's just, <laughs> he's an absolute legend, so he is. What position? Shout out to granda. What position did he play? I don't think he played football, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a good man. He's <laughs> a good man, he's not dead yet. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You over there? Do you practice with your sheep? No. <laughs> you know, your pretty much routine of 40 chicken nuggets. And oh, yeah. will that, will that settle the stomach or? Well, first off, I think I'll get a strawberry milkshake just to make a base in mm. my stomach and then I'll continue with the eat chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. it, it just, it makes me ready for the game personally. Yeah, thanks for your time, uh, Dylan. Right. Uh, looking forward to the game. All right guys, just uh, on behalf of Sky L Sports, uh, really, really excited to, to get the opportunity to sit down with both of you as ahead of the big game on Friday. But just have to have to ask, um, uh, Captain of West, Friso, has been communicating across that uh, you are overconfident and um, just like to know how you, how you feel, how you're gonna respond to, to such accusations. Uh, what I'd say is we're not overconfident, we just know we're going to win. Ben mm. Fry, we're coming for you. What preparation did he do for the match? Well, we've been training week in, week out, day in, day out. We've been there in the morning doing our early morning gym sessions. We've been out at night practicing penalty shootouts, free kicks, a bit of passing drills, a few shooting drills, depends what position you are. You know, We've just got to trust the system. We've got a good team of sponsors behind us and we know we can do it. Mm. Yeah. Kim's out by himself, Mark. And Mr. Nesbitt, how do you feel about your squad? Uh, we've got good squad depth, 22 to be exact. Full team rotation, second half. Second half's where we're going to destroy. Uh, Marcus, the best of you. I see you have a smart watch there. Are you able to fit yourself? How do you think that's going to contribute to the match? Yeah, thank you. I actually do a bit of running myself, so. Uh, I feel like if I'm needed to play the whole game, I can do that. I can step up on big occasion. But as Jack said, we've got great squad depth. I don't think we'll need that. We've got basically two teams playing, one each half. I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Confident thing to be injury for any of the whole match. Yes. And we're just going to open directly to the floor for questions. Um, what would it mean to you guys to lift that trophy at the end of the match? Well, Carver, everything. The years of dedication. Uh, this whole two years of young life has been building up to this day for me and Ben Fry, I assure you, will be going down. Mm. Yeah, it would uh, mean a lot to me, you know, it's such a big trophy to win. Um, it's got a lot of aura around it, you know, it's uh, really expensive to make, you know, the just the, the honour of lifting it at the end will be incredible, mm. truly. I expect my defence to act with aggression, assertiveness, and confidence, nothing more. Mm. Yeah, I, this question's for Chris, comes directly from the fans. Um, they're all eager to know, will the headband be worn on the night? Turn up and you'll see. Mm. You two gents both have a lot of hype. Do you think that'll affect you in a good way or a bad way throughout the game? Uh, well, I'm going to be racking boys, so no, uh, I think it'll be a benefit to me. Well, Peter Crouch was tall. We all know what a great player he was. I'll be looking to emulate Crouch's greatness in the night. Mm. Johnny, as a defender, what do you think the back door is going to be like on the day? Well, on the day, I feel like our defense is going to be a great wall of China. No one's going to get through to get past us. Really? <laughs> yes, Pipes. Uh, Johnny, I was just wondering, what do you hope to bring to the side? What well, can I bring to the side? Diversity and good food. Mm. That's all, really. Mm. And yourself, Robert? Uh, I can bring the taggers, just the sheer skills and control over the ball. Mm. Robbie, will the fans be travelling from Mexico to watch you play in this game? Absolutely not. Mm. Uh, Robert, just uh, just a follow-on question from that. Um, you know, high-pressure situation. We all see how it goes down. In the last one of these games, your finishing was absolutely terrible. That's not a direct quote from myself. 
that was it's, it's coming from the fans. It's coming from the fans. They said your finishing was absolutely terrible. However, chances are Orla Stevenson is going to be in attendance. How do you feel? How will that impact the big man's nerves? Well, Gav, I'm not a striker this time, so uh, pressure makes diamonds. All I need to do is swing it into the box and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. Mm. Mm. You missed a bit about Gordon. Um, you back that part. Flag and flag. Mr. Trump, yes. uh, do you have any inspirations for your uh, gameplay? Oh, yes. The creatures in park and nowadays, human song, just want to emulate them. They're true idols for me and the whole of Asia. And great defenders as well, <laughs> apparently. I'm a great defender of creatures, too. And uh, again, for legal reasons, we do have to uh, mention one of our sponsors, so. Yeah, the King Food, they've been great for just supplying the food, <laughs> the chicken, the protein, it's mm. just bring everything to the thing. Also. Yes, yes. Heidi is Bally G's number one fan. That is that is known fact. Um, yeah, just King Fu, I uh, really recommend. Top of High Street on the left. Uh, S6, salted chili chicken, some noodles, some rice, some chips, okay. curry sauce, right. £6.40, and you get a free can. Hit it up. Thank you very much. It's true. And free chili chicken. Apparently. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Um, firstly, Gareth. You've had previous experiences with West. Would you like to enlighten us, enlighten us on the situation of how you've done in those previous matches? Yeah, I mean, well, not one to talk about myself, of course, not one to um, sort of dwell on on the past successes, you know, in history. Um, but uh, yeah, half played three, won three, and scored in every one as well. And um, so Friso being scored, uh, requested that leaders can't score in this one. So. Um, but I'm, I don't feel that's going to impact us whatsoever. I uh, feel like we've a top, top squad and good looking man right here on the bench. Strong enough come off. Yeah, come off the bench. Yeah. Solidify the, the back four. Yeah, you know, I think, we, I think we've got this. Um, easy. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, Del, so what sort of impact do you think you're going to make when you come off the bench? Well, I mean, honestly, I'm a unit. So I think whenever I come off the bench, I'll be breaking people's legs, uh, just making sure the ball doesn't get past me. Mm. And for child protect protection reasons, you will not be breaking people's legs. Yeah, it's just legally, uh, legally got to put that in there. Yeah, just put that in there. Yeah. Um, Garf, just to check, last time you played West, uh, a Ben Fry was reminiscing about the fact that you took off your shirt after scoring a 30 yard banger, as you described uh, it. Yeah. Uh, well, will the top be coming off again and the ring be on display? Uh, you know, uh, I think I've had one too many McDonald's in the day since then, and uh, you know I've, I've looked better. Yeah, I've looked better, Christopher. However, um, I did score a thirty-yard banger. Fries would got really annoyed. His eyebrows went all white. His face went all red. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I got booked for that. You know, but uh, I intend I intend to, to not get booked in this game. A uh, very clean player nowadays. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably a better question for Fryzo and um, yeah, sort of back that day, constantly picking ball in the net, things like that, you know, so <coughs> for that. Uh, defence, I won't be up in that area too much, but we are really, 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 really going to hurt you. Come on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably, probably a great question to ask our strikers. And my job is just to make sure that their strikers don't uh, don't get more our goalkeeper. So, um, so yeah, we're we're confident, confident of keeping a clean sheet. But you know, football's football. Anyone can beat anyone. And um, but uh, as as Fraser says, we're we're overconfident. So you know, we'll see. Right? There's a good reason for that. History. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well, Bruce, uh, today on behalf of Sky L Sports, uh, you have heard it here first. Team Bangor Valley G very confident going into their big match against West this Friday evening at Aurora. Doors open at 7, kickoff 7.15. Cheers, everyone. Hey.